What time is it in Paris? The time in Paris, France is 8.16 p.m. So again, it, it recognized the words, understood the meaning, and then comes back with this live clock ticking down the seconds, showing what time it is in Paris. But you can ask other questions, like let's say you need to set an alarm clock. Just ask Siri. Wake me up tomorrow at 6 a.m. OK, I set it for 6 a.m. It's that easy. <laughs> Again, we've integrated with lots of things. We've integrated with the stocks. So you can ask it about the stock market, something like, how is the NASDAQ doing today? NASDAQ Composite is down right now at 2,321.70. And again, you can ask this from the lock screen anywhere. Just press the button and ask. You can ask about you know, the NASDAQ, the Dow, or any specific stock as well. We've also partnered with Yelp. And so you can ask questions about businesses or restaurants. Something like, find me a great Greek restaurant in Palo Alto. I found 14 Greek restaurants. Five of them are in Palo Alto. I've sorted them by rating. <laughs> now, I've been in the AI field for a long time, and this still blows me away. The fact that it understands the words, the concepts, and even how now ranks it by Yelp's ordering. We've also integrated it with maps. So you can just ask Siri for directions. Let's say I want to go to Hoover Tower on the Stanford campus. All I say is, give me directions to Hoover Tower. Here are directions to Hoover Tower. So again, it recognized what I meant. It found Hoover Tower, takes me right to maps, shows me the directions. You can even ask for things like, you know, what's the traffic around here? Now, sometimes your phone is, is locked in your pocket and you're in a hands-free environment. So you might have a Bluetooth headset on. And you receive a text message or an iMessage, and you hear it come in, but it's in your pocket, and you don't want to take it out of your pocket. So with Siri, you can just ask Siri to read it to you. So you can just press on that button on the Bluetooth headset. I'll simulate it by pressing the home button here. But this can all be done hands-free. And just ask Siri, read my message. New message from Phil Schiller. When can we have lunch? So it reads it hands-free to me. You can reply or read it again. So before I reply, I think I want to have lunch on Friday. Hands-free now, I can just ask Siri about my calendar. I can ask it, do I have any meetings Friday at noon? You don't have anything on your calendar for this Friday at 12 PM. Fantastic. So let me go ahead and reply to Phil now that I can make it. Reply, I can do Friday. Here's your reply to Phil Schiller. Ready to send it? I can uh, respond with my voice, or I can just tap on the button. So I'll go ahead and respond. OK, I'll send your message. Now you noticed I said reply. I didn't say reply to Phil Schiller. Siri is following along the conversation just like a human does and knows when I said reply, I met Phil. Now let me go ahead, again, all hands free, and schedule that lunch just by talking to my phone. Schedule lunch on Friday at noon with Phil Schiller. OK, I set up your meeting with Phil Schiller for this Friday. Are you ready for me to schedule it? Go ahead and confirm that. OK, I scheduled your meeting with Phil Schiller for this Friday. OK, this is blow away. I had it read me my message, I checked my calendar, I dictated my response, and scheduled it all hands-free just by talking to my iPhone, just by talking to Siri. But there's more. <laughs> <laughs> I told you about the Reminders app earlier. The Reminders is integrated perfectly with Siri. So you can create a reminder just like this. Remind me to call my wife when I leave work. Here's your reminder for when you leave work. Shall I create it? Sure, let's confirm that. OK, I'll remind you. 
So again, in an earlier conversation, it asked me who my wife was, and now it knows. And so I just say, you know, remind me about my wife. It's now set up a geofence around work, in this case, Apple for me. When I leave Apple, it'll put up an alert reminding me to call my wife. It's amazing. We've also integrated in with web searches. You can search things like Wikipedia just by talking to it. So let's say you're learning about the space program and you want to look up Neil Armstrong. Just take out your phone and ask Siri. Search Wikipedia for Neil Armstrong. Searching for Neil Armstrong. So again, it's that fast to look something up. It takes me right to Safari, right to the article in Wikipedia. Now, we've also partnered with Wolfram Alpha, and they have all sorts of information you can ask questions about. In fact, they have an entire dictionary built in. So now, to define a word, it's as easy as asking Siri to define it, like this. Define mitosis. Let me think about that. I found this for you. It's mitosis, cell division in which the nucleus divides into nuclei containing the same number of chromosomes. Again, it is that easy now to look anything up in a dictionary. You just ask your personal assistant, Siri. Now let's say you're off in Europe and you see something and it costs 45 euros. And you're wondering, well, how many dollars is that? Well, just ask Siri. How many dollars is 45 euros? Let me check on that. This might answer your question. So what Siri does is it goes, it looks out, figures out the current exchange rate, and tells me that 45 euros is $59.59 right now. It even gives me a history of the exchange rates and, you know, for extra measure, translates it into a number of other currencies as well. Now, one of my favorite things is, you know, sometimes your kids will ask, how many days is it until my birthday? Or how many days is it until Christmas? And it's not an easy thing to calculate. But now, you just ask your phone, like this. How many days are there until Christmas? Let me check on that. I found this for you. 82 days until Christmas. Get shopping. So <laughs> it's just that easy. You can, ask, I mean, you can ask so many questions of Siri. Now, you can't ask everything, and it's not perfect, but there's so much you can ask it that we decided to build a guide right into the user interface so it's quick and easy for you to see what kind of questions you can ask. So when you hold down the button and the Siri UI comes up, there's an I button, an information button on the right-hand side. Tap on that to build, bring up the guide. Let me go ahead and show you that. So press and hold, tap on the I button. Now here's all the sorts of things you can do with Siri. You can voice dial, so call someone just by saying their name. You can control your music. You can control playing you know, an artist or an album, but now you can also play any song you want, including any song you might have on iTunes in the cloud, and you'll download it and start playing it for you. Or even a genre, you can say, please, you know, play some rap music for me, play some classical music, and it'll automatically start playing that for you. You can use it for messages, send and receive, text messages, iMessages. You can manage your calendar now with your voice, schedule meetings, check, check on meetings, move meetings around, cancel meetings, all just with your voice. It's integrated in with reminders, as you saw, and with maps. You can ask for traffic and directions, email. You can compose and dictate emails right to Siri. You can ask questions about the weather and about stocks. With a clock, there's a lot of things you can do. In addition to things like uh, the alarm clock, you can set timers. So let's say you're, you stick something in the oven. You're going to bake it. You need to take it out in 30 minutes. Just take your phone and ask Siri to set a timer for 30 minutes, and you're done. You can look up things for contacts. You can create notes, you can search the web, you can search Wikipedia, and all the other questions you can ask of Wolfram Alpha. It is absolutely blow away. Now, you might ask, well, who is Siri? Let's just ask. Who are you? I am a humble personal assistant. <laughs> And that is Siri. Siri is your humble, intelligent, personal assistant that
that goes everywhere with you and can do things for you just by you asking. Thank you. Thanks, Scott. And that is the coolest feature of the new iPhone 4S. In addition to controlling it with your voice and getting things back and information, as Scott showed you, it goes further. Siri also does dictation. So now, anywhere you see a keyboard in an application, you'll see a microphone on the iPhone 4S. You can tap on it, get a simple user interface for now, starting to talk to Siri. When you're done with your passage, you tap done sends it up to our server, and in a blink of an eye, it comes back with your text. It's that simple and that deeply integrated into the system. So Siri, you can speak with your natural language. It's conversational. It understands context of the things you're talking about as you're following along. It's personal in that it's amazing right out of the box, but it actually even gets better as you use it and learns your voice. As you've seen, it's built in with many of our applications. It adds dictation anywhere there's a keyboard. And there's software in the iPhone 4S, and there's software in our data center making this all happen. And this works across Wi-Fi as well as 3G. When we launch the iPhone 4S, it'll be built in with support for English, French, and German. And as we've said, it will be beta at the start. And you've seen how great it is already. By beta, we mean we'll add more languages over time and more services over time as well. So that's Siri. And now you understand all that's new inside the new iPhone 4S, a whole new chip, a great new antenna system with these dual antennas, and it's a world phone and faster. It's an incredible new 8 megapixel camera with all new optics, the 1080p HD video camera, AirPlay, everything about iOS 5, all the amazing capabilities of iCloud, and now Siri. We're really excited about the iPhone 4S. And to help customers learn about it, we've created a video. I'd like to play that for you now. iPhone 4 was groundbreaking. It's one of the best products we've ever designed. And it's gone on to become the number one smartphone in the world. So we had this challenge. How do you improve on something that's so extraordinary? Well, with iPhone 4S, we did exactly that, by taking this amazing design and completely rethinking the inside. We started by adding the dual-core A5 chip, which is up to twice as fast. Then we completely redesigned the camera, which not only has eight megapixels, but all new optics. iPhone 4S also comes with iOS 5 with over 200 new features and iCloud. And now, we're introducing Siri. How can I help you? Siri is a whole new way of interacting with your iPhone, using just your voice. Find me an Italian restaurant in North Beach. OK, these 25 Italian restaurants are in North Beach. It's like this amazing assistant that listens to you, understands you, can answer your questions, and can even accomplish tasks for you. Move my meeting with Kelly Alltech to 12. Note that you already have a meeting about budgets at 12 p.m. Shall I schedule this anyway? Move it to two. A lot of devices can recognize the words you say, but the ability to understand what you mean and act on it, that's the breakthrough with Siri. Read me my text. New message from Tony Rivers. Are you going to the party? Reply. Yeah, I'll meet you there. Remind me to grab the present when I get home. Here's your reminder for when you get home. It completely changes the way you think about what a phone can do for you. One of the biggest advances for the iPhone 4S is in its performance. It uses the same powerful dual-core A5 chip that's in iPad 2. With two processors handling the workload, it really makes a big difference. Apps will launch and run faster, Graphics can render up to seven times quicker, making gameplay a lot better. And in Safari, web pages will load up to twice as fast. And it's the world's first phone to intelligently switch between two antennas to transmit and receive calls. iPhone 4S is now a world phone, so both GSM and CDMA customers can roam worldwide on GSM networks. 
iPhone 4S also has an all-new 8-megapixel camera, 